Championship. City Tennis Project. I'm Alexis, an 8th generation ambassador. And we're here with Painted with Xylene Project. We're here celebrating the importance of public tennis courts. Alexis, I know you play on public tennis courts too. Can you tell me the importance of them? Well, I've been playing for four years. I think it's great for the whole tennis community. And I think it's so nice for the whole community. And this project will get more kids involved in the game. Yeah. We serve the most under-resourced children whose family's income is between zero and twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars a year. It's nothing. That's nothing. Our goal is to build a character, build a child, and send them to graduate high school and make sure they go to college. Every child, no matter who they are. It's more than just tennis to the kids. It's a place where they can come, build relationships, learn different values, respect, honesty, teamwork, responsibility. Through academic supports, through nutrition education, through character education and life skills, we're really developing good citizens, good young men and women. And that is what the foundation is all about. It's what Arthur Ashe was about. This program was very important to our community because it's too much going on, violence going on. And it gives our young children a chance to look at things in a total different manner of way instead of seeing the dangers and on the streets. It gave them a chance to have a dream. Just the first day you walk in here, they're pushing you about your studies, they're pushing you about everything to your max. They're making sure you have good grades. They teach you how to have respect. So if you don't have it when you don't when you come here, you're gonna have it when you leave. Our goal is to really change lives. And tennis is a big, big part of that actual conversation. But it's amazing. We have kids working in Silicon Valley, becoming teachers, becoming doctors and lawyers and counselors. When I was in high school, I got kicked off the tennis team from such a low GPA. Nora Grassroots got me a tutor that year. The next two semesters, 3.5, 3.7, never got kicked off the team again. Never. And it helps. That was the turning point I would have to say in my education life. Nora Grassroots Tennis prepared me for college. And now that I'm through college, it has helped me with connections, with, with a job, and giving me a chance to give back. It also gives the kids in the community opportunities to do things that, you know, because of financial reasons or other reasons, they may not have a chance. We're one of over 100 NJTL chapters around the country that are doing really good, positive work for youth, and we wouldn't be able to be where we're at today and growing the way we're growing without the USTA Foundation. We're gonna reach up to and maybe even more than 600 children this year authentically. It's amazing and a lot that's in thanks to USDA Foundation.
Hey. We're hey. back from Cincinnati. And we're back from Cincinnati. Um, we're gonna welcome over our friends from Xylene Project. Hi guys, how's it going? Good, how about you? Good. Good. I'm Robbie. Tahone. Tahone. Alexis. Cool. Joe. Tahone. Awesome. Yeah, so we're here painting these courts for the 50th anniversary of the US Open. You guys excited to paint today? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. So excited. Sweet. Cool. Well, um, so this is what we're doing. We've got these shapes over here and they're gonna be filled different colors, so we'll help you, have you guys help out, fill all the shapes, go from there. All right. Um, yeah, awesome. so take a roller. Thank you. We're Thank ready you. to set up over here. Um, so this shape's gonna be a light gray. Have you guys ever rolled paint before? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, that's a start. <laughs> Oh yeah, are you? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we've painted that other court over the past four days. And so. it looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we're just trying to brighten it up for you guys, bring more people to the courts. So yeah, you guys could start on that one. This one in the middle here? Yeah, yep. just this whole tape, taped off shape is good to go. All right. So, you guys know how to start? Right yeah, you could, you could come over here to this tray, okay. actually. Uh. Yeah, so you just gotta kind of roll it out. If I can get it's it to not roll. Turning, yeah. No. Um, it's okay. Put it if you put it on the ground and just roll it out. It'll start turning a little bit. There you go. Great. There it is. Get in there. Like it just takes a second to get it started, you know. Yeah. Uh, you guys come to these courts much? Yeah, I, we pl I play here every day. Oh, awesome. every weekday. Awesome. Really, every day. Yeah. That's really cool. Glad to see you. Yeah, you guys got it. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Sweet. Roll two or just wait. Um, you guys want to play in the U.S. Open one day? Is that a goal of you guys? I wish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys can get there, I'm sure. Keep practicing every day. Yeah, I like Serena and uh, uh, Rafa. Yeah. Are those your two favorites? Uh, Rafa is my ultimate favorite. Really? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. We we painted up at the uh, Western and Southern tournament before. Yeah. yeah. I don't know yeah, if you guys have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. We painted a lot of the players. Awesome. I actually painted Serena last year. Hey, that's cool. Might as well help out a little bit. Okay. Have you met any of them? No, never, never personally met any of the tennis players, but we've painted portraits of probably 20 or 30 of them now. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. How long have you guys been doing this? Um, as a company, we've been doing it almost 10 years. So wow. It's been a while. A while. This is probably the fourth or fifth time we've painted on the ground, too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, ground murals, go ahead. It's definitely different doing it on a, a court where somebody's gonna play, you know? It's yeah. different to see, you usually see art in a museum or on walls. Then you actually get to play on the art here, which I think is really cool. Hopefully it'll inspire more kids to play. Yeah, yeah. I might just start camping out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these courts are really awesome looking. Yep. Thanks. Trying to get it there. Races for Arthur. They're going to try to play the Built by Arthur and Billy, Jimmy, and Chrissy, Martina, Mac, and countless others. Built through determination and drive passion and pride built on the strength of a city that never sleeps and players who never give up built from hopes dreams and what ifs built to inspire and amaze built to be the world's grandest stage built for the fans and the future for challengers and champions. United States Open the 2018 US Open. 
built for glory. Huh, that's not us. No, it's not us. Walk over. Oh, sorry. Go for it. I'm gonna go. Keep rolling the gray. I'm Matthew Daler. And I'm Robbie Burgess. And, and we're Xylene. It's really good to uh, connect with the, the youth here and do something outside. We also have classrooms painted inside, so we're kind of benefiting them in all season. Our studio is based just across the river in Dayton, Kentucky, about a tennis ball's throw from Cincinnati, Ohio. We like to bring a lot of contemporary art and contemporary culture, things from like graffiti, street art, screen printing, combining those into a new product and put that out into the art for other people to see. The inspiration for the tennis court comes from uh, the community. We just want to like bring bright colors and tennis inspired themes to the people. I really hope that it inspires people to just play tennis, even people who might not have you know, thought of being active in the community. And hopefully someone will win the US Open from Cincinnati someday because they played on our tennis court. They were stoked to just go there every day and play on that painted court. The art's not a selfish thing, it's, it's for everyone, it's for people to engage with and I think it's just there for the taking and I think that's what's important about it, it gives life to communities. The courts we're painting will benefit the inner city tennis project and it's great to give back to the youth of the city. It's really important to get uh, kids super excited about art, uh, not just through uh, making their community feel good but uh, also brightening it up and giving them a sense of ownership. We're super excited for the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Open, and uh, we're really excited to be uh, painting this court. Thank you, U.S. Open. USTA Foundation. And Chase for allowing us to share our passion with the youth of Inner City Tennis Project of Cincinnati. And we're back at the Los Angeles Triangle. I'm here with some of my fellow Inner City Tennis Project teammates. I'm here. And we're here painting with Xylene Project. So Justin, what colors will, be, will, we, will we be using? Um, we're going to be using this light green color to fill this shape and the other one up there. So if you guys want to start with the rollers. What's the inspiration be uh, behind choose the choice of these colors? Uh, well, they're traditional okay, tennis court colors, but we've kind of been using them in a, a different way that's not usually shown. You know, It's usually just one flat color, so instead we took the blue and green and mashed it all up to create a fun design to look at. It's got a lot of activity in it. Awesome. Uh, be different to play on. Yeah, you guys, you guys got it. Is this your first time rolling paint, guys? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. You're doing a good job. Yeah, it's a, lot, it's a lot easier on the ground than on a wall. <laughs> awesome. You want to? Sure. This? I'll there help. Absolutely. You guys are doing an amazing job, so Thanks. thank you. Yeah, you guys are too. You're done in no time. Yeah, 
We serve the most under-resourced children whose family's income is between zero and twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars a year. It's nothing. That's nothing. Our goal is to build a character, build a child, and send them to graduate high school and make sure they go to college. Every child, no matter who they are. It's more than just tennis to the kids. It's a place where they can come, build relationships, learn different values, respect, honesty, teamwork, responsibility. Through academic supports, through nutrition education, through character education and life skills, we're really developing good citizens, good young men and women. And that is what the foundation is all about. It's what Arthur Ashe was about. This program was very important to our community because it's too much going on, violence going on. And it gives our young children a chance to look at things in a total different manner or way instead of seeing the dangers and on the streets. It gave them a chance to have a dream. Just the first day you walk in here, they're pushing you about your studies, they're pushing you about everything to your max. They're making sure you have good grades. They teach you how to have respect. So if you don't have it when you don't when you come here, you're gonna have it when you leave. Our goal is to really change lives. And tennis is a big, big part of that actual conversation. But it's amazing. We have kids working in Silicon Valley, becoming teachers, becoming doctors and lawyers and counselors. When I was in high school, I got kicked off the tennis team from such a low GPA. North Grassroots got me a tutor that year. The next two semesters, 3.5, 3.7, never got kicked off the team again, never. And it helps, that was the turning point I would have to save my education life. North Grassroots Tennis prepared me for college, and now that I'm through college, it has helped me with connections, with, with a job, and giving me a chance to give back. It also gives the kids in the community opportunities to do things that, you know, because of financial reasons or other reasons, they may not have a chance. We're one of over 100 NJTL chapters around the country that are doing really good, positive work for youth, and we wouldn't be able to be where we're at today and growing the way we're growing without the USTA Foundation. We're going to reach up to and maybe even more than 600 children this year authentically. It's amazing and a lot that's in thanks to USDA Foundation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Crystal, you're done. I would just move that, that part. Don't mess it up. Crystal, what are you doing? Crystal, no, stop. Just smooth it out, it's okay. This one's done. We're gonna, when they take the next break, we'll move you guys over to, uh, yeah, I'm
Whoa. Don't say anything, we can hear you. Hey, we're back. I'm Robbie from Xylene Projects, and I'm here with Alexis. She's helping out paint the art courts today. Yeah, and I'm the next generation ambassador. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, and um, we basically wanted to get involved with this project to help you guys out in the community and bring some art to the public space and some art that you guys get to play on and hope we bring other players to the area. Yeah, it's awesome. I, I love how I get to like, take into the game and everything. Yeah. Cool. So how long have you been playing tennis now? Uh, four years, but almost four and a half, so. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And I train at uh, Purdue University at Shorts Tennis Center. Nice. That's awesome. And you come here a lot to practice, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. I, well, I've only been here like twice or so. Oh, really? Okay. Cool. Well, this is awesome that you're getting to be a part of this. Yeah, I'm super excited I'm here. So. Get to come back and play on the actual court you helped paint? Yeah, yeah. Not everybody gets to do that. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, I can't wait to play on this court. You're going to tell your friends to come down and get to play on the court that you painted? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll definitely tell them about this place. Awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome with the next up here, too. Yeah. yeah. And the next thing up here. Totally. Yeah, I think that's why everyone sees it, though. Yeah, that's the goal, is just to get more kids involved with tennis and being active in the community and all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been painting? Um, it's been 10 years we've been a company doing these types of murals and awesome. stuff like that. So that's what that's where our passion is. <laughs> yeah, my passion is for tennis, so I'm not like the best player, but... <laughs> just all practice, just like tennis, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy to be here, though, so... Awesome. Yeah, I like these colors, though. Yep. It's going to look way different once all the tape's peeled up and the tarps are gone. Yeah. How you guys doing over there? Good? Awesome. It's really good. Yeah, it looks like that one's almost done. Thank you. you. Think it's going to be different playing on them when it's not just the plain white lines, or? Oh yeah, definitely. I yeah. Be like much easier to see. Maybe. Really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I can't wait to play on them. Yeah, the opening should be, I think, the 28th, so you'll be able to come out and play on them once they're done. Yeah, that could be awesome. Yeah, that I forgot I wasn't... Cool, looks great. You guys having fun? Absolutely. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, you guys got it. You're ready to be professional painters now. <laughs> um. Are you guys ready? When you think of return to serve, what comes to mind? Today's a great celebration, but really it's about a lifetime experience and being able to take that experience to the next level. Thank you, USDA. Thank you, Jake. Hey, we're here with the Inner City Tennis Project, and these guys are helping us paint the art courts. Let's walk over here to get started on this shape. So what does it mean to you guys to get to play on this court? You guys love it? Yeah, it's really, it's really awesome. It's like, it will bring a new fun, new yeah. adventure. Yeah, different aspect to, the, to playing yeah. the game on an art court. 
So what does this this place mean to the community? A lot of a lot of kids come down here to play tennis. Yes, um, a lot of kids are in this program, and yeah. it's just you're. It's a learning experience like no other. There, you. It's not only about tennis. The coaches help you with different aspects of life, so nutrition, health, awesome. school work. It's just. That's great. It's a great opportunity to get away from home and just do something. Do positive things yeah. with other people in the community. Yeah, that's really. It's a great opportunity for you guys. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're a part of it. You know. In 28th, you'll be able to play on them too. So awesome! <laughs> yeah. Good job, guys. Who's been playing tennis the longest here? Me. You. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. How long? Um, it's been. Three and a half years. Cool. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, I haven't played much myself, but I'm, I'm excited to get to do it on these since we've painted them. You guys might have to show me some tips and tricks. <laughs> you can come anytime. Yeah. We'll go easy on you. Cool. <laughs> You'll have to, for sure. <laughs> You guys like the colors? Yeah. And tried to try to use different colors that the other courts have in them, but just use it in a different way. Try to make it fun, exciting. It looks really. They look really nice so far. Thank you. Um, that was, that took the last four days to do that one. So we're gonna work on this one today, get this one finished up, and then the other one over there also gets painted. So we're gonna have like four or five shapes on that one too. Um, well, we're trying to get people to come and play tennis. We wanted to make it inviting just by using all the colors together and different angles. Kind of creates a lot of motion, movement, which is kind of what tennis is about, getting active. So we just wanted to bring more people down here by just getting their attention with the art. So, yeah, especially coming down the hill, you can see it from up there. You almost get a better view of it than when you're right on it. But I think it'll be really cool once you get to play and. Yeah. Will this still be on it? Yeah. Well, oh no, the tarps are going to go. But then after we're done with the art, they're going to come back through and do all the white lines so you guys know the boundaries and everything. <laughs> so it'll be like the arts underneath the court, kind of. That's awesome. Yeah. You guys are fast. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I got the tarp for you. Just a little bit, yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, well, we had to use a, a grid, basically. We made a bunch of lines on the court, and then we looked at the drawing and just made it all line up and drew it out and then taped the stuff off. So it was, that was the hardest part, actually, was getting the whole drawing out onto the court in the size that it is because it's such a massive surface. Race out like a son of a gun Try to find a little room to breathe One hand on the beat of the drum One hand on the gasoline Mama said don't light that spark Unless you want to feel the heat of power Follow the WTA and ATP World Tour stars as they hit Cincinnati, the Western and Southern Open, August 11th to August 19th, the U.S. Open Series, serving up the best of summer. Tickets on sale now. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Come back July 28th up. to see the finished courts. Yeah, yeah, that'll be really awesome. Yep, July 28th. Bye. Bye. <laughs>